the topic is uh, where parallel lines meet. You know, by definition, parallel lines do meet, but they meet at infinity. One can be good at uh, long distance running, or he can be a good scientist. But there can't be two attributes which can be in one person. And I'm proud to say that I'm a scientist, I'm a successful scientist, and I'm a long distance runner, I'm considered a successful long distance runner in Bangalore community. Now let me start my presentation by saying a, a verse from Mahabharat where uh, Krishna teaches Arjun when he wanted not to fight against his cousins in Kurukshetra. So what he said is, I'm going to fight against my cousins and it's not good. Then what uh, Krishna said is, you should never think about what you are doing. You do your karma, whether it's good karma or bad karma. The result, you leave it to me. I will give you whatever you deserve. So what it means is, you do good deeds, you have good friends, the result will be good. You spend time in good ways, you, have an, you, are, you are ultimately satisfied. And you have two hands, you rub them, you get produce heat, which is, which is negative energy, and you clap it, it is melodious, it's positive energy. So yeah, you have to have good karma, that's what it means. So I'm going to take you through the good karma. So I'm with a humble background. Uh, I'm from born and brought up in a rural village, uh, outskirts of Bangalore, and those are my parents. And that's my child childhood from a middle class family, and my parents had no education. I was born in 3rd March, 59. So I'm 58 years old right now, completed 58 years. That's my family. Uh, Savitrama, doctor, she is a professor at University of Agriculture Sciences, Bangalore, and my children, two children. One has completed his MS and presently is working in US, and my daughter Neha, she has finished her MBA, she is a Karnataka state hockey player. So sports is in, uh, in, in our blood. So my childhood and teen days, so I studied up to 8th standard in Kannada medium, and I studied totally in uh, uh, government schools, and my uh, English started only when I joined fifth standard. And I had some unique uh, qualities in me where during my childhood days, I used to only mingle with uh, people, my classmates, who are above my average. So I'll, I always used to look for ways and means to improve my capability. And also I used to make friends with seniors so that you know I can learn from their experience and I can be prepared to what's going to come in future. And also I was a passionate current affairs uh, uh, person where I used to be abreast with what's happening around and I was a hardcore sports person and of course competitive mind and I used to look at others and I, I always think if others can do, I can do and if I do, I can do better. So that, that was my passion but that was in my blood. Now, I, when I was in 10th, my father passed away in 1975, whole family, uh, you know, bringing up the family uh, went on my mother. So we were a family of nine, and finally uh, five were married, and my mother has taken care of four children, including myself, and she took care of it. And I was just watching her struggling every day, every moment to bring up the family. So then I decided that I should start earning, and then I joined Indian Air Force in 1978. And when I joined Indian Air Force, after my initial training, I was posted to Lucknow. That is where I found a friend who wanted to run away from Indian Air Force, Anath Risley. And while running away, he dumped all his engineering books to me. And that is when I got those engineering books. I got a spark, a spark in me that, you know, these are engineering books. So what should I do with this? So I should continue. I should do something good about it. It's a God-given gift. I should continue with it. That's how uh, I s thought of... Uh, doing my engineering. Actually, when I joined the Air Force, it was uh, uh, 12th standard. After 12th standard, I joined the Air Force. And I enrolled myself, uh, became a student of uh, institution, of institution of Engineers in 1980, completed my degree in 1983, December, and joined MTech. And I discontinued MTech because I got a chance to join HAL in 1984 as an engineer. And then, while working in Indian Air Force, uh, I mean HAL, I got an offer to join ADA because that's the time when Government of India started a national project called 
light combat aircraft, they wanted to take up design and development in country, the best fighter in the world. And I applied for that uh, job and then I got selected. And from then on, that was 1987, now it is 2017. So from then on, I've been working on this project for nearly 30 years. And I am proud to say that the, the product on which I worked has been successful. It has been successfully inducted into Indian Air Force. And it's working, and it's working well. And now that, that's my profession. So I'm a scientist by profession, specialist in jet engine, and specialized in aircraft propulsion, design and development of jet fuel starter. And the last six years, I'm working on aircraft design. So this is LTA Mark II, advanced version of LTA Mark I, which is more lethal, more advanced than LTA Mark I, which is presently with Indian Air Force. And it stopped when it became independent. Then it went on with my daughter. It went on up to 2006 when she joined uh, state hockey uh, for the sub-junior. And from 2006 onwards, I w it was a solo running for me. So I, I just was running just about six kilometers a day, every day, seven days a week. And six, six became nine. And in 2009, I just thought, let me just test whether I can do more. I just did uh, 30 kilometers one day. I just, nothing happened. So I was perfectly all right. So then I thought, there's nothing wrong. I can do more. So I started running 30 kilometers a day for nearly four months, seven days a week. And my body got fatigued. And uh, I decided, OK, that's enough. So enough of me I've seen. So let me just reduce it. And I continued. For next six months, it was 22 kilometers uh, a day. And it went on. And somewhere around 2009, I met with a runner couple who were uh, members of the team Bokam. You can see that BHU, KMP, Bangalore, Hyderabad, Ultra, K KTM, Kaveri Trial Marathon, Mumbai, and Pandicherry. So these are the six marathons which this group does every year. All the members in the group do these six marathons. I also joined, and I participated in the marathons. And in first marathon, Kaveri Trial Marathon was in September. And I got podium finish. I was surprised. How was that? There are so many runners. And first time I'm participating in it, I got a gold medal. So I got uh, boosted up. Then my second was silver. So like that, I went on running and running and running. So far, I have done about 45 marathons. And most of them are podium finish. And shorter distances, 10 kilometers, are, and half marathons are just I don't know how many. I, I'm not keeping count. <laughs> My weekly mileage, which, which started with 50 kilometers a week, peaked to 200 kilometers a week. Then now I'm running at 100 kilometers per week now. Today morning, I ran and came. I ran 11 kilometers before coming here. I would not miss marathon. <laughs> because only the runner knows when you do your running, what feeling you get, you go high. You do whatever energy you spend on running, it comes back to you double, many folds it come back to you. You'll be jumping with energy the whole day. It's not that you get depressed or you get tired, no. You just try it, you will know what it is. So this is my last marathon in June. Uh, uh, not June, I'm sorry. It was in February uh, last month and uh, I got the podium finish, again the gold medal. And I finished uh, with uh, three hours, 24 minutes for the full marathon. That's my personal best also. Now let me uh, just tell you how, what are these inspirations? Why, why, do, why do you run? And why do I run? And why I want everybody, everyone to run? See, human, humans are born to run. Only pace matters. It, it doesn't matter whether you run slow or fast. You have to run. And it depends on the physical condition of the body, the pace depends. Uh, the physical condition decides uh, what's your pace. And nobody, nobody dies because of hard work. In fact, one will come out stronger. Again, it's, it's a mental block. You are thinking that you can't do it. But you just come out, just start running it. Just start in a s small way. You can do it. You are capable of focusing. You can ac accomplish the target. So you can do anything. The feeling one gets after a good run, 
is far better than what you get just sitting around and thinking that if you were running it, what would have happened? You'd, you would remain gloomier the whole day without the run. And it's easy to say, I don't have time. But I'm telling you, you can make time. You have to schedule your activities. I'm telling you, every day you are busy with so many unwanted activities. You have to cut all of them. You have to make time. And you have to work backwards. You have to think when you have to run. And you have to think, you have to go through your schedule and then see when you can fit, you, fit in your run. Whether it can be day, whether it can be night, whether it, it can be the evening, it can be in the dark. I, I'm telling you, you will find time if you have the will, if you focus on it. And running, running is the best thing that can happen to anyone. The kind of energy what you get, the kind of positivity what you get, the find kind of connectivity what you get, it's amazing. One must do running and then only you will realize it. If there are runners here, they will know what it means, what I'm talking about. Like I said, I'm too busy. It's a myth. You can't say that you, you, are, you are too busy. You have to make time for important things. For example, the running, if, if you consider it's an important thing, you have to make time for it. And there are so many benefits of running, innumerable benefits. You lose weight, you relieve stress, you look younger, you beat the age. I'm 58. Now I can do full marathon. I can do it tomorrow. So I don't need any preparation. You, you will improve your attitude. You, your lungs become strong. Your heart becomes strong. Your muscles become strong. Your bones become strong. Your mentally become tough. You know, you can face any attitude, any uh, situation. So who is a runner? A person who runs is a runner. You may be running first, day, first time or first day, and there may be a runner who has been running the 20, last 25 years. Runner is a runner. So anytime you run, you are a runner. And there's no test to pass, no license to earn, no membership to get. You just run, you are a runner, and you get the feeling. And running is not about being better than others. Running is about better than yourself. How you can improve your performance day after day, day after day, how you can focus, how you can improve your performance, how you can improve your form. So that's what is running about. It's, it's very interesting. And if you wait for perfect conditions for you to think of running, it will never come because you will have so many mental blocks. It never happens to you. You have to just come out, it, whether it's dark, night, any, any time, any time of the day you can run. I have run in the afternoons. I have run at 42 degrees centigrade, 10K. I just wanted to try myself whether, whether I can endure uh, that, such a heat. I'm telling you, it's possible. Any, if I can do, anybody else can do. Like I said, you have to make up your mind to, to run any time during the day, any time you find you're free. When you're free, the time may not be in the morning, it could be in the evening, it could be in the afternoon, but you have the will, you can do it. And you get medals only in the short, short distance running, like you do 100 meters, you get gold, you get silver, you get bronze. But in case of long distance running, it's finishing, touching the fire, finishing line, what it matters. It doesn't matter whether you run faster, whether you run slow, whatever it is, you touch the finish line, you are a winner, you get a medal. That is the beauty about long distance running. In long distance running, everybody is a winner. So it's, it's not just athletic achievement. Running is not an athletic achievement. It's state of mind. It, everything is here. If you think you can run, I'm telling you, you can run. You should not have any mental block. So final wording, instead of running away from problems, instead of thinking that you can't do it, why not run towards your solutions? Why not finish the run? Why not you get a fee high feeling? Why not you enjoy the day? Why not you get energy doubled? The energy what you spend will come back to you in any fold. So finally, what I want to say is I'm a successful professional. I'm a successful runner. And there are two parallel paths which meet at infinity. That's me. So that's Sidesha. And a small piece of advice and recommendation, recommendation to you people is, you please get into running. You will see so much of positivity in it. It will change your lifestyle. It will change the way you think at look at life. 
It will change the way you behave yourself. It will change the way you look at the problems. You will, you know, it gives such a feeling that you will, you will get that, you know, there's nothing which is impossible. Everything is doable. It's only the mental block which prevents you from getting onto it. So please get into running, get the most of the running, and be a successful professional. Thank you.